I deem this video smoothie aquaponics. Well, see what happens is I'm a vegetarian, which means that I'm constantly making smoothies and going raw. I guess I'm about 60% raw. Eh, I don't know if I'm maybe 70% vegan. But uh, anyway, in making those delicious smoothies, one thing I do when I'm finished, when I clean the smoothie out, is I clean it out in my plants. And so it makes for a great natural organic fertilizer to take the leftover smoothie sediment on the side of the blender and pour it in your plants. So the side effect of that, you'll see here in my elephant ear, is basil. Well, not just basil, but also tomatoes or anything uh, that uh, was a seed in what you were making will end up growing sporadically in your plants. Here's some stuff I trimmed out here. I think that was thyme or something I just cut out. I really didn't want much of. But anyway, I've already harvested three basil out of here, and there's a little one growing there in the corner. What I'm doing is I'm taking the basil out, and I'm... Uh, it, it's, it's, it would be difficult to take it out without hurting the roots too much of the elephant ear and the other plants if I cut it out with a shovel. So I'm actually just pulling them out with my hand, trying to do as little damage as possible to the vegetable as well as to the elephant ear, but kind of separating the roots out. Like so, I just try to get up underneath it, and anytime I feel a big root, I try to avoid it, and some will come up and. The elephant here actually will be fine, um, but pull out my basil, walk over here to my aquaponics setup, wash out the roots like so, because when you're planting in aquaponics, you want just the root system, none of the dirt, and it makes for a very easy replant here in yeah, the aquaponic float bed. So all I end up doing is tearing the roots down through a hole I have in these float cups I uh, got from the dollar store and then I just fill it in with rocks here. Too hard to do that with the camera on but just a quick way to reuse uh, leftover smoothie sediment and replant in your aquaponics or hydroponic system. Go green.